guys, what's going on? We have a very sad but very nice thing to say. A lot of people have a bucket list now. Bucket lists are things that you want to do before you die. Like, for instance, for me, I would say... This is tricky. Get a tattoo. <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually do that. I would actually, um... Trying to think. I mean, there's. Hmm. Climb Mount Everest. No. I don't know what my bucket list is. But here we go. Connecticut teen completes bucket list by sacrificing her life to save her friend. Kiss in the rain, fly to Spain, to save a life. Those were the items Rebecca Townsend put on her bucket list for a high school assignment in December 2012. Over the next two year and a half years, she checked the first two off her list. And on July 2nd, the 17-year-old from Connecticut fulfilled the final item by pushing her friend Ben Arn out of the way of an oncoming car. Wow. I mean, this is like sad, but brave. I mean, she sacrificed herself for her friend and wow it's like so hard to like even read this I mean you get I mean when you hear something like that it's just like I'm not crying it's just it's a little sad but it came at a terrible price her own life police say the two friends were struck by a car while crossing the street near the campus of Western Connecticut State University according to WTIC Rebecca died, and Ben, 17, was seriously injured. When he was released from the hospital, Ben visited Rebecca's family and told them about her heroic act. He said, The last thing I remember is Rebecca pushing me and telling me to hurry up. Rebecca's sister, Ver Ver Victoria, told BuzzFed. After Rebecca's death, her sisters and cousins said they were sitting in her bedroom sharing stories, and when they found a note lying on her bed, as if laid out for them. It says simply, oh my god, this is going to be hard to read. For future Rebecca Thompson, according to the eulogy they posted on a Facebook page they created, apparently this was a high school assignment that was returned to the kids at the end of their senior year so that the students could remember who they were at the beginning of their high school days. Her sister Monica and Victoria said in their eulogy, they read the letter at her funeral and posted the eulogy online. The note also included her dreams of attending Fort Ham and on or Boston College, even though she was going to be a freshman at the University of Notre, Notre Dame this fall. The sisters re referred to the bucket list in their eulogy. To my parents, thank you for taking me her to Spain, they said. To Nico, thank you for being the cutest boyfriend, the cute boyfriend she could kiss in the rain. And to Ben, thank you for letting her save a life. The sisters also encourage others to share an act of kindness in Rebecca's memory on the Remembering Rebecca Facebook page and Instagram account. Printable cards were made to distribute and to remind friends and strangers alike to do a good deed as well. Rebecca was passionate about service work and charities, constantly working to better the lives of others. The only post said whether painting a meal... volunteering time or donating to cause we, we all have the opportunity to pay it for it every day just as Rebecca strived to. Police say a 23 year old woman from Brookfield, Connecticut was driving the car that hit the teenagers according to Fox. No charges have been announced and the incident remains under investigation. This is a sad story but really a good story. I mean, can you imagine? Jump in. I mean, saving somebody in a car. Thanks, guys.